Hello everyone. Welcome to day two of our retreat. Um, you have been joining us and you were with Kelly this morning. You know today is about our gut, our stomach. Um, for tonight's classes, you will need uh, some pillows in, um, instead of the bolster that I'm using or cushions, again, that you can roll up or stack. Grab as many rolled up blankets or towels as you'd like. Again, any kind of padding that you'd like. Um, I'll be using a block in one pose. Um, so you can either have, if you don't have a block, you can grab a stack of books. Um, also works well with maybe a cushion on top or even just a pile of cushions is okay too. And if you have been with us uh, last night, we talked about some of the physical benefits of yin. Um, and kind of that yoga equation for healing, bringing our breath and our mindfulness. And Milo will be joining us for class tonight too. <laughs> um, and also the right movements to go with our breath and our mindfulness. So, and everything we learned about yin, we'll be using all these same principles and we're trying to talk a little bit more about our mental state which as we know, stress can have a huge impact on our immunity, probably more than we ever give it credit for. Um, so we're gonna keep our yin classes more shifted to the focus of keeping that healthy state of mind. And this is obviously not only for our own sanity and well-being, but also for our physical immunity as well. So tonight with our poses, we'll be focusing on our, the area of the stomach, the area of the gut. Let's just take a moment to acknowledge the sensitivity of the gut, all the communication it's known as our second brain. It also holds, um, holds our space for anxiety and overthinking. So if you think of those gut-wrenching feelings you have or any anxious feelings that you get are in the stomach, um, but also has the opportunity to hold a place for a deep sense of peace. Um, think of a deep belly laugh, um, where that comes from. So maybe let's set an intention tonight for finding that space for that deep peace. So take a comfortable seat with me, or if you'd like to start laying down, we're going to start with working with our breath. So either sitting on a cushion, Anywhere we can find a nice long spine or if you're laying down, that's fine too. And let's allow the eyes to close. Start to focus our attention inward. Start to feel the inhales and the exhales coming in and out of the nose. Drawing your inhale deep to the belly, fill up through the ribs, through the chest. As we exhale, deflate the chest, deflate the ribs, deflate the belly. See if you can work to kind of slow and control that stream of air coming in and out. So inhale nice and slowly again, fill the belly, fill the ribs. So all the way to the chest, maybe hold for a second again, nice slow stream coming out, exhale, deflate the chest, deflate the ribs, deflate the belly. As we keep that rhythm going, I want you to go ahead and count the length of your inhales and exhales, just to notice your natural rhythm, not to see how long you can hold each, but just to see how long is your natural inhale and how long is your natural exhale? You've been able to see that your inhales are either the same length or longer, or maybe they're shorter than your exhales. So maybe you're at three seconds and four seconds, or four seconds and three seconds, or maybe as long as six and five. 
Our next two rounds of breath, continuing that same rhythm, see if we can extend just your exhale, even by just one second. Keeping the same count for your inhale. See if we can extend that exhale by again, slowing the stream down to a nice controlled exhale. Let's do one more deep breath together. Inhale through the nose, fill the belly, fill the ribs, fill the chest, hold. Exhale, deflate the chest, deflate the ribs, deflate the belly. If you'd like to blink the eyes open, we're gonna work our way right onto all fours. So slowly, if you're coming up from laying down or seated, don't be afraid to move in slow motion tonight. We're gonna find ourselves in tabletop. Hands stacked beneath the shoulders, knees below the hips. We're gonna work into a few cat cows just to get our body moving a little bit here, but slower than you would normally. So let's inhale, bring the tailbone up, drop the belly, open the chest, maybe gently look up. Exhale, start at the tailbone, gently round up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Press through the hands, let the head drop down. Inhale again, start at the base of the spine, begin to drop the belly, open the chest, open the shoulders, gently bring the head up, maybe look up. Exhale, start at the tailbone, round nice and slow, all the way up. Let's do one more time, inhale. And exhale. Really press through the hands, really round through the spine here. Let the head drop nice and heavy. And inhale back to neutral. We're coming into our first pose of child's pose. So toes come together, knees wider than the hips or as wide as the mat or as much as you're comfortable. Hips sink back all the way. If you're a little tight, you can always grab a pillow or something to place underneath the hips. Or if you ever feel any pinching in the low back, go ahead and just bring the knees in a little bit closer. And then we walk the hands down, either grabbing a cushion for our forehead or our chest, or go ahead and come all the way down to the mat with your forehead. And if you remember from last night, that we take our adjustments in the beginning here to find our edge, find where we feel stillness, where we'll be able to hold for the next few minutes. Always welcome to pad the knees. Recognize any tension between you and the ground and place a prop there, place a cushion there. Make your adjustments to find your stillness. Find that deep belly breath, let the belly relax. Full inhale, expand through the back of the ribs. Again, all the way up, let the belly expand fully and exhale, relax the body. Again, tonight we're focusing on our stomach, our area of digestion. So this is not just how we digest our food, but how we digest our thoughts and emotions why it is so affected by uh, overthinking and anxiety. So when we are too wrapped up in our thoughts, we aren't digesting them properly. This turns into overthinking, which turns into anxiety and fears. So when the mind is telling the body that there are always stressors around, it stays in a heightened alertness or the fight or flight mode. Organs actually begin to shut some of their function down, digestion first, alerting the mind to be ready for decision making. We spend too much time and even partial 
alertness. We are too alert. So we can ask ourselves, what do we need to be so alert for in this moment? What decisions need to be made right now? By asking this, we're bringing ourselves out of the future where most anxiety and overthinking lives is in the future. And we bring ourselves into the present. And we come back to our breath and we slow it down. It slows the mind down, tells it to relax which then tells the body it's okay to rest and goes into the mode of rest and digest. Organs begin to function again. We can digest normally. Also meaning now we can think clearly. Stay connected to that deep belly breath. And let's take three full breaths to finish the pose. Nice and full, expanding every way we can. After your third exhale, we'll move out nice and slow, gently walking the hands back towards the body, bringing the knees in. Maybe you'd like to just gently come up to a tabletop or walk the hands a little bit forward, drop the hips down, gently releasing the front side of the body here. Again, do what feels good for you in between these postures. The next one we are coming into can be challenging for some. Um, so I'm going to walk you through, starting from um, the modifications all the way into the most intense. So just follow me step by step, because even if you are ready for the most intense version of this pose, it's best to go down slowly anyways. So we're gonna come to a seated position and we're gonna bring our left leg out long and our right leg is going to come on the outside the right foot is going to come on the outside of the right hip so if this is already not available for you go ahead and grab some height or a cushion or whatever you have at home to place under the hips and bring that foot then to the outside you can also pad underneath of the, the left knee if you'd like to if there's too much tension there and this might be right where you stay and then with or without height if you'd like to intensify a little bit you can start to walk the hands behind. Again, this also might be too intense. Just stay seated best we can. Or bring the hands behind and see what's comfortable to start opening up into that front hip. We don't want any pinching in the low back here. If we do, we back off a little bit. And then from here, I'm going to show you with the block. You kind of can either keep yourself propped up on your hands. You might want to make fists or grab a couple pillows to cushion your wrists here if that's where you're staying put. Or you slowly lower down, maybe to the elbows. And if this height is comfortable and you want to place cushions underneath the back to support yourself at whatever height you can be. So even if you stack up two or three cushions, that's totally fine wherever you don't feel pain in the low back. And then let yourself relax down right there. Then obviously the most intense version will be coming all the way down, nice and slow, maybe giving a gentle tuck to the tailbone. Things lay like nice and flat. Let the shoulders be relaxed in whatever variation you're in. Find your stillness. And as we think of those moments of anxiety and how do we bring ourselves into the present and maybe just asking ourselves 
what we need to be alert for right now is not enough. We bring ourselves to our breath. This also can sometimes get us through those difficult poses or uncomfortable times is a tool that you know works for you to focus on your breath. So let's bring back the idea that breath counts. So just as we did in the beginning, begin to count your natural inhale and then extend your exhales. So as we breathe in through the nose, it's like you're inflating a balloon and on the exhales, you're deflating the balloon and keeping really a slight pinch on the opening to slow the stream out. So just begin to count for yourself. Let's go ahead and take three full breaths. We don't hold this one for quite as long. Then nice and full and intentional. After your last exhale, coming out of this one nice and slow, you maybe prop up the elbows. I like to grab a hold of my heel. Help gently lift the head, lift the body, walk the hands underneath, rolling onto that left hip to release the right. Maybe bring both legs straight, straight and come to a gentle forward fold. Something just to kind of release the back here, release the neck. Let's take one full belly breath here. Exhale it all out. And then gently sit up as we come to the other side. So if you have already, you're all props around you, that's great. It might be that you need more or less on this side. So go ahead and bring the left foot to the outside of the hip. Grab your height under the hips if you need it. And just slowly, step by step, start to walk yourself down to whatever height works for you. Being aware of that low back, being aware of our edge. Find our stillness. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. We settle in. Tucking the shoulders gently under. Arms out, nice and relaxed. Maybe you connected with counting your breath and maybe you didn't. So it's good to know what works for you. My personal favorite is doing that three-part breath we kind of always start with, where we inhale, fill the belly, fill the ribs, fill the chest, exhale, deflate the chest, the ribs, the belly. Keep that rhythm going. Again, either imagining that you're filling that balloon, inhaling every space we can find, and exhaling, deflating it nice and controlled.
in this exercise, we focus more about finding space. It already kind of slows the breath down. And now we find more space for it to go. With our front body more open here, the belly's open. We think about creating space around those worries, around those thoughts, so they don't consume us. Inhale, fill the belly, the ribs, the chest. Exhale, deflate the chest, the ribs, the belly. And let's go ahead and take three full breaths. After your exhale, again, moving nice and slow to come out, propping the elbows up, gently lift the head, and lift the body, come all the way up, rocking onto that right hip to release the left leg. Let's take again a gentle forward fold here. Nothing extreme, just feel a slight round in the back. Take one full breath. And exhale. Next pose we are coming into, you may or may not want a cushion under the hips. Um, we're coming into butterfly pose. So soles of the feet come together, knees come wide, bringing them not all the way to the groin, but fairly close. And if you're not able to find the very bottom of your sit bones here, and have a nice straight tailbone, go ahead and grab a cushion because if we're starting off and you feel rounded at the back of the tailbone, you're not gonna get quite the effects that we want in the hips or even in the stomach. It's gonna be too much tension on that low back. So go ahead and grab some height for yourself to kind of prop the hips up over the feet, over the knees, and this should get you a little bit more started with the straight back. And then from here, you're gonna start by tucking the chin down and slowly letting yourself round down. You might keep your hands just where they are or if you're feeling like you have more space, you can gently start to walk the hands wide and forward. So again, this is depending on your flexibility. Also depending where you are, you can grab a block or a pillow to prop wherever you feel your forehead can rest. And then maybe without the support of your hands, you can bring the palms up. So lots of variations for this one based on your body type. And it might be just sitting up straight with your hands in your lap and your chin tucked and the shoulders relaxed. That's perfectly okay. We don't want any force or pulling or tension in the shoulders here. So again, if you feel you need to reset, just bring yourself all the way back up and just start by relaxing the shoulders and the neck. Find that edge for yourself. As we should feel a bit of compression here in our bellies, take a conscious effort to inhale, really feel the belly relax and move as we inhale and exhale. Really letting that Buddha belly relax. Here's a good pose to realize where we carry a lot of unnecessary tension in our body is our shoulders, our neck, 
and our stomachs. Maybe we're spending too much time sucking in or too much time with tense shoulders. And our core is meant to be engaged in when we are active in, in a vinyasa class. We are meant to be ready to move and ready to go. But throughout the day, it's meant to be soft and relaxed. As the state that your body in reflects your state of mind and vice versa. So a tense body signals a tense mind. And a tense mind begins to tense our bodies. So much communication is already happening just through our nerves. This connection how to change either state all happens in our breath. How we communicate from brain to body through our breath. We slow it down and we send it deep. Keep our presence in this pose. See if the body invites you to come a little deeper. Again, keeping all tension out of the neck and shoulders. Just gently see if your top half is a little heavier. So that belly's still nice and relaxed. Go ahead and take three full breaths. Really feel that belly move in and out to finish off the pose. After your exhale, just gently begin to straighten the spine, moving nice and slow. Maybe walk the hands behind or help them lift the knees up. Or you can either just bring the feet wide and knees right to center and feel released this way. And depending how folded over you are, maybe open the chest, drop the head back. Maybe let the knees fall from side to side. And then we are coming onto our backs, but grabbing either your stack of books or your block or several cushions, we're coming into supported bridge pose. So feet are staying on the mat, knees are staying high. We roll all the way down. Feet are staying at hip width. And gently press into the feet to lift the hips and sliding your prop underneath the low back. So if you, all you have at home is cushions and you're not quite getting the height you want out of this, you can stay low and just try straightening the legs. This also opens up the front side of the body in a really nice way, getting a lot of the same benefits. Also another way to intensify this pose. So go ahead and find your appropriate height to find your edge. Maybe gentle tuck of the shoulders and of the chin to open the chest and keep our neck long. Let the hand palms just be relaxed and open alongside the body. I like to gently take my big toes and point them in just to keep the knees from falling out. And 
And again, let's find our place of stillness. Inhale, we can really feel, maybe even see our bellies rise. Exhale, release into your stillness. Here we have working on becoming observers. We've been observing our breath, observing our body in every pose. What changes? And other than our breath, bringing relief to anxiety is that ability to become the observer of your thoughts of your emotions, to create a space for yourself of non-judgment inside your own head, inside your body, a place of acceptance. Again, we breathe here, finding space, especially in the belly, in the front body, giving room for those thoughts, those worries to all dissolve. As thoughts such as anxiety thoughts or fearful thoughts cannot be forced out, cannot be told no, sometimes they need that gentle release. Just like in our yin practice, as that deep tissue needs that time and gentle release, we cannot force ourselves into flexibility. The same goes with our thoughts. We cannot force them out. We cannot force ourselves to stop thinking as that usually creates more thinking. So again, just imagining here, your body, that place of observance. You don't tell yourself no to a thought. You don't judge it. We just accept it and observe it. And then we breathe to give it space. present in your breath here, imagining that expansiveness as we inhale. This can be a simple pose. Maybe you can already feel the effects internally as things shift and change, especially in the stomach. You are feeling open and want to intensify. You might want to straighten the legs or stay right where you are. Keep breathing. Inhale to begin our last three breaths of this pose. Make them nice and full. And 
after your last exhale, moving nice and slow out of this pose, gently press into the feet to lift the hips up, to slide out your prop, and then roll down this vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way until our tailbone meets the mat. Then maybe take the feet wide, bring the knees together. Just take a pause here, taking one full breath. And if you'd like to feel the knees fall from side to side. And we're gonna gently bring ourselves to seated. So whether you'd like to roll onto the side and just press yourself up or gently hold the legs and kind of roll yourself all the way up. Find yourself back in tabletop. Take your time to get there. But next we are coming into a pigeon pose. So I like to start mine in tabletop just to kind of open up my spine again. And then we're gonna bring our right knee forward towards the right wrist. Send the left leg back and long. Take a moment here to press into the hands and let the hips dip from side to side to feel the curve in your back every time we lean from side to side. Find your space right in the middle where the hips are square, the spine is straight. If you have a gap here, go ahead and place a prop underneath or we'll bring the chest down all the way. You can also place a prop under the chest or under the forehead here. Just start to slowly melt yourself down to the mat. If you're not using a pillow, you can use your hands uh, as a pillow for the forehead. Again, staying conscious of keeping those hips square so we're not feeling any curvature in the spine. Take your time, settle in, make your adjustments. And of course, most importantly, find that deep breath. Feel the belly either fall next to the thigh or press against the leg as you inhale. Exhale, be a little heavier in the mat. We consider here what it is like to be an observer of ourselves. It means I am not my thoughts. I am not my mind. I am not my emotions. I am the observer. Also knowing that when we put our thoughts and emotions together, they usually just create a story. And that story usually carries weight, carries energy that our body listens to and believes and feels what can feel so real. So when we decide to remove the weight, understand it's a story. We remind ourselves, I am not my thoughts. I am not my mind. I am the observer. You can repeat that to yourself or just keep focusing on the breath here. Again, imagining space on our inhales, in the belly, in the back of the ribs, and exhaling, feeling them release. I am not my mind. I am not my thoughts. I am the observer.
take three inhales and exhales. It's nice and full. After your exhale, gently bringing yourself up, pressing into the hands. Maybe just rocking onto that right hip. If you need a counter pose in between, please take it. Otherwise, you can bring that left foot forward and around and send that left leg back. Again, moving nice and slow as you need to. And again, we prop ourselves up on our hands first. Let's rock the hip side to side. Find our center where we have a nice straight spine, hips are square, rounded in towards the mat. Slowly lowering yourself down, grabbing pillows along the way, staying propped up on the elbows, or coming all the way down to the forehead. where we are still deciding to hold, deciding to remain still, allowing this work to happen into our bodies. Find that deep belly breath. Exhale, relaxing into the mat. And here we continue to put it all together. We can feel how we are talking through our breath to the body. As we inhale, the belly relaxes. And as we exhale, the body relaxes. Then the mind follows. And we are inhaling to fill the belly. It relaxes and expands. We exhale, the body relaxes and gets heavy. And the mind follows. You can also use any of the counting or feeling that three part breath, anything that works for you. Maybe you've come up with something on your own to stay present in your breath. And sometimes when we come out of that rhythm or our mind wanders beginning to go down a trail, we just bring it back to the breath as many times as we need to. Again, we don't judge ourselves, we don't react. We just observe. And keep bringing it back to the breath. Take three full breaths here.
See how relaxed you can feel with every exhale. Notice what happens when we bring that attention to that, those last breaths. After your exhale, again, gently walking the hands to walk the body back. Gently rocking onto that left side. Swinging the right foot around. We're gonna come onto our backs, working our way into our final Shavasana. So maybe take a hold of the knees and gently roll the spine out here, nice and slow to come back. And any last movements that are calling to you, go ahead and take them now. Maybe that's just squeezing the knees into the chest or taking a gentle, happy baby, rocking side to side. And whenever you feel ready to send the legs and feet long on the mat, The arms and hands come down by our sides, palms up. Shoulders are gently tucked down and away from the ears. Maybe gently rock the head from side to side, settling the neck in. And again here, still finding that stillness. Connecting with that deep breath. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Sending that release out through our fingers and our toes. Through the crown of the head. And scan the body here for any unnecessary tension. the legs, the back, the neck, down the arms, every little muscle in the face. Now you've done the work. This is your time to digest. Let it all sink in. we lay here as observers. We remove the weight of our own stories and we have become light. You've created space now for everything to dissolve. You've created space now where deep peace can be held. Just by staying in the present moment, just you and your breath.
slowly, gently begin to bring some awareness back to the body. Remembering this is still your time to take your time. Staying in Shavasana as long as you'd like. Or if you feel ready to wiggle into the fingers and the toes. Or maybe gently rocking the head from side to side. Keeping the eyes closed, maybe gently rolling yourself to the side, coming into that nice, safe, grounded fetal position. Keeping that attention inward a little longer. Again, realizing that your body is that space of acceptance, of non-judgment. Whenever you feel ready to bring yourself back to seated. If you'd like to continue to keep the eyes closed. If you're there seated with me, we inhale for a long spine, open chest, exhale, relax the shoulders, relax the face. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Thank yourself and your body for bringing you through this practice. The light in me honors and sees the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining for tonight's class. Um, if you're continuing on with the retreat, I hope you enjoy Kelly's class uh, tomorrow morning. We'll see you then.